Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and this one's going to be a Town Hall 10 um, attack strategy video type. Basically, I've been seeing this Queen Walk La Lune work so well at Town Hall uh, 10, and I made a video on Valks too. That's still a good strategy, but this even more so. The last um, like two wars, any Moral Thieves and Genesis, been seeing this really work out very nicely. You guys are going to see a few attacks today. Before we get into them, just real quick, I want to say. Uh, shout out to Genesis for a very solid win this weekend. I lost most of the attacks, unfortunately, but had a three-star margin, I believe. So awesome win to Genesis. Um, I'm going to make a video talking about the state of Genesis, um, have some information for recruiting, as well as a few other things. So I'll make that video soon. But in terms of other videos coming out soon, we have a Town Hall 10 base build. We have some Town Hall 9 attacks you guys will see. And I know I've been a little bit sparse on the live action, so I'm going to do my best to record more live action in the future because I know that's a popular series, the live attacks and the live on War Day uh, that you guys enjoy seeing. So um, all that being said, let's get right into these attacks today, starting with uh, Mighty Buzzard. I believe he had a six-star war, so awesome job to him. And... Um, we're taking a look at his attack on number six to start here, coming at this base with just a queen charge, and it's been working so well, to be honest. He's going to invest three rages, but what we're seeing is the infernos being put not only separate from each other, but offset to one side of the base. They're definitely more towards the top right than they are the bottom left here, and because of that, the queen walk can come in, uh, get some awesome value without any risk of uh, her being targeted by the Inferno and the heal being blocked. So comes in here, has the poison. He's going to be very generous with these rages. Um, at times it's questionable if he needs them, but go ahead and, and be safe uh, rather than sorry. Uh, minion right there, nice touch to take out some of those pups a little bit quicker, um, way quite faster for the queen, and as always, time is important on these Town Hall 10 attacks. Next rage going down in just a moment, there it is, queen will step up, and what he's doing here is just getting the defensive queen, the CC troops, two air defenses, and at the end of it all, his queen will still be up with her ability. So uh, next rage about to go down, um, he's going to let that effect wear off. He could have waited a little bit longer on these rages, to be honest. Could have spread them out a little bit more. Typically, you want the queen to at least go down a little bit, so that way you're not um, using them too soon. But regardless, I think it was fine. And uh, there goes the Lava Hounds, the Balloons, on each of these defenses. And keep in mind, um, because he's investing all these rages, he doesn't have as much spell space, but the haste are an effective way to move your Balloons along. I like that heal in between the Infernos. Keep everything up amidst those uh, wizard towers, those Teslas, all that damage, keep those balloons up. Good touch there. Um, Lava Hound runs over to the last air defense. There is that Inferno still up, but he has the queen actually. He has um, balloons closing in. The queen, I don't know, is she going to go down right here? No, looks like she'll step up, take out that Inferno. So got a little bit close here, but um, even if she had gone down, the balloons looked like they were still on it. Uh, awesome attack, closing in these last few defenses. This is going to be a three-star, of course, a uh, ton of cleanup troops. We'll go ahead and fast forward to the end here. A uh, nice attack to Mighty Buzzard. We'll take a look at his other attack in just a moment, and then one more after that. <clears throat> All right, I think it was... Did I... Yeah, I went down one. Um, it was actually... This was the first one I wanted to show, but whatever. Uh, look how quick. We'll fast forward to when it starts. Under two minutes, and this base is toast. Um, incredible timing how fast he took this base out. Typically, they're not that um, speedy at Town Hall 10. Uh, si similar concept, coming in with the queen. She is coming much more directly towards that Inferno, but it's a bit of a different type of attack. It's more kill squad based. And um, basically, we're seeing the queen walk be very effective, but in terms of what you do with it, you have a little bit of variation, a little bit of freedom to choose what you want to bring uh, besides the queen. You can bring a bigger kill squad with bowlers possibly like Mighty Buzzard does here. One thing you may have noticed, he had to use the queen's ability and the rage at the same time. So even there, that um, kind of lost him some value because if he had dropped the rage a little bit earlier or had just used the ability, he wouldn't have had to use both. So uh, despite that, overcomes that part and uh, everything's going fine. One thing I like is how the queen, after all that initial stuff goes down, 
she doesn't have a whole lot of damage coming her way. There's not expos. The space is so spread out that um, the queen has basically a nice little retirement up there. Nothing's going to be targeting her, and that's what you want to look for. Uh, the, if there's a possibility that the queen can uh, not take a whole lot of damage as she goes through the, the attack after the initial kind of push there. I like those hogs. Those are kind of an interesting touch to help with the Tesla farm. Probably not even needed, to be honest, because the Tesla farm typically can't reach the queen all at once. So she probably would have gone through one by one and taken them out. But the hogs definitely make it a little bit quicker. It's amazing. It wasn't even the cleanest attack, but it had so many troops left up at the end. Um, these Town Hall 10 bases that are spread out like this are not going to be the most um, effective bases to use, which is why I'm going to be making that Town Hall 10 base build as soon as I can for you guys. Uh, but for you Town Hall 9s, of course, I'll be putting out some attacks and other stuff to keep the channel diversified. Let's take a look at one more here. Um... That was Mighty Buzzer's last one we already looked at. I believe it's 12. Uh, Bobby. Yeah. Um, similar composition. Um, this was a really clever attack because the air defenses are offset. This is kind of the new meta base that um, I've been seeing more and more and I think is somewhat more effective. But it still is, it can be three-starred by an air attack. There's just different ways you have to go about doing it. You can see... One thing this base tries to do is concentrate the archer towers, the wizard towers, the expos, and the queen. All that air targeting stuff um, towards the bottom of the base, away from those air defenses to kind of separate everything out. And when you do that, one possibility is just to come at all that air targeting stuff with your queen walk, get it taken out, and even if there are four air defenses still left up, there's not going to be a whole lot of defenses to help besides that. And you can still use your la loon on the top there. So uh, Queen takes out that uh, kind of bottom part of the base there, that little V, then it comes up for the wall breakers. One nice thing about all the air defenses being up top, he doesn't have to worry about his healers getting targeted. He can basically do any kind of Queen uh, pattern direction he wants without risk of the healers cutting too far and cl uh, close to those air defenses because they're all the way at the top. So gives more freedom for the queen walk there for sure. And just dropping these rages, he is investing a lot, but he's getting a lot of value. And uh, I think pretty much every attack we've seen two, three rages being invested, but it's definitely worth it. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a poison for the CC troops really. Well, I guess he kind of does it. It was still there from the queen when he dropped it. There's the king. I like that suicide king. Goes in, gets the uh, Teslas, gets the Inferno Tower. A great trade. Um, very well thought out plan because the queen took out everything uh, exposing that Inferno Tower. He can just drop the king in, get the Inferno taken out. Not going to get any air defenses though, but that's going to be okay. And you guys will see why in just a moment. Here is the Lava Hound. The, uh, they're going down quickly because the air defenses are you know doubling up, tripling up on them. But the balloons are closing in so fast and nothing's targeting those balloons. Because like I said, it's mostly cannons and stuff up there in the bomb tower and that kind of stuff. So balloons just making their way through the haste, propelling them along. Um, I don't think he lost hardly any balloons in this attack. Of course he lost a few, but look how many are left up at the end of this crush this base just goes to show just because you can't get any of those air defenses doesn't mean you can't do an air attack um a lot of what the threat in a base is is the teslas the archer towers the wizard towers really those lava hounds are they're still tanky enough that with four air defenses if you have like three of them uh they can sit in there for a while and allow the balloons to just kind of methodically move through so nice attack to bobby nice attacks to uh I'm spacing out, but the first attacker who had a, a six-star war, uh, good stuff all around. Nice job to Immoral Thieves on the win this weekend against Crystal Warrior. And like I said, nice job to Genesis as well, although you guys won't be able to see many of their attacks because I lost them. So uh, that'll do it for this video. Like I said, have some more stuff coming out over the next few days. So be looking for that. Thank you guys for watching this one. Bisect the Toronto.